Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing well today. Welcome back to Kingdom 2 Crowns. This is the Deadlands DLC, episode 10. And man, just look at that backdrop right there. That is just super cool, right? Anyway, yeah, hope you're doing well. Looks like there's a uh, diaper dude, a double D, coming to get my beer. We're chopping down these trees, trying to expand our front line. Hopefully this guy can do it and get back in time before the greed come and tickle him to death. Kind of what they do, right? They just have their arms waving and wiggling around to try to tickle you to death. It's kind of kind of weird if you ask me. Kind of inappropriate. It's, a, it's, it's what we call a bad touch. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so uh, let's get back over here like a so. These guys probably got a bit of money, huh? Oh, yeah. All right, let's head back to the beer station. Make sure no one's drinking it. That stuff is ex oh, he's drinking it. You flipping hobo, flipping drunk. Cool, baby. All right, uh, you know what? I got a lot of money, so I think right when this night passes, I'm going to start building a new wall on the right side here, assuming there's a position for me to do so. One more bow. That's a bow drive-by. Bow for the bros. God, I wish I had the vampire right now. But unfortunately, there's no space for that structure to appear. Well, there is space right here, but... This game likes to do that. Alright, so I'm not going to build right there because it's too close to the farm. God, where can I build next? There's no mound out here? The fudge? Are you serious? Dude, this is crazy far. That is nuts. Alright, well, I guess I have to build at that mound, which is okay. It's not really that big of a deal since I already have a butt-ton of farms on the other side anyway. Man, these guys- oh my god, Brenda! Go away! Brenda the ghost keeps showing up to nag me to death. No, Brenda, I'm not following you. I know what you want. You want me to put money in the bank. Is she in cahoots with the banker? Is she like the banker's dead wife? And she, and she shares the same passion for money that he does? Because, I mean, let's be honest. The banker is a fat, slobby, lazy dude. Not only does he hang out at my castle all day, but he doesn't go anywhere. He doesn't go to the front line. He doesn't help defend. He doesn't do anything. He just happily takes my cash, retreats into the castle at night like a coward, and sleeps on my piles of cash. What a jerk. Yeah, that's my theory. That's my theory that Brenda the ghost is nagging me because she's his dead wife and she's like, oh, your money's my money. And she's got some weird obsession with cash as well. It's some weird unhealthy fetish and I do not... And Oh, he's drinking my beer. Stop it. Dang it. All right, you know what? Hopefully Brenda will shut up if I give you some money. All right, there you go. You happy? You fat little hoarder. Yeah, get over there. Mind your own business. Tell, tell Brenda to leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, let's get this wall up, dude. Hopefully I can get it up one more before the sun completely falls behind the horizon there. It's, uh, it's falling pretty fast. This ain't looking good, to be honest with you. I want to get at least one level of stone. There we go. Alright, the catapult's coming, so we should be fine. As long as there's no blood moon tonight, we are gonna be A-OK, -okay, baby. God, that sounded violent. Look at all the chickens! They are out of control, man. They are just overpopulating. See, we're actually doing a service to this land by annihilating all these chickens. Because if we were to let them populate at the rate that they're multiplying, then they would just consume everything. This would be a desolate area. All right, beautiful. I'm back to the vampire, which I am very happy about. All right, 
You know, what's that builder doing? Yo, Bob, get back in here, homie. What are you doing? I think Bob's trying to stand outside of my wall during night to try to impress one of the ladies. I mean, it, it could work, but it's a, it's a deadly, it's a deadly seduction maneuver. I don't recommend it. All right, uh, let's go back to the left side. Oop. Get a diaper, dude. Welcome, buddy. Welcome. And let's get some beer. All right, what is that? That's day 17. God, I love this vampire so much. It is totally the best. Totally. It is the bee's knees, baby. You know what blew my mind like 10 years ago when one of my friends told me that the bee's knees just is just a weird way of saying business. That's the business. The bee's knees. Blew my mind. Hopefully I blew one of your minds as well. Crap, don't activate. Please, for the love of God, don't activate. Tina's all tuckered out. I forget, do I have to go past two portals on this side? I think I do. Yep, crap. Wait, did, did Tina just eat some food out in the forest with no grass? That was weird. Alright, I'm gonna leave a couple coins out here. Transform into the bat. We shall fly back to the castle. Make sure I give some more money to the banker so the ghost Brenda will leave me alone. I don't want to be nagged to death. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. So much money. So little time. This is expensive. I thought I was almost done. I thought wrong. So wrong. Man, the sun's been really orange lately, huh? But it cool, mate. But it cool. All right, let's get one more squire or knight or whatever you want to call him over there on that side. Oh, they drink all my beer, man. Son of a. Gun. Can't catch me, gingerbread man. Ow, that almost hit me in the face. All right, I'm going out as quickly as I can to see if there's a mound I can build on. Crap, there isn't. The gem chest. How the heck am I supposed to expand out here when there's no flipping dirt mounds to build walls onto, man? This is crazy sauce. Crazy. Kind of a random little area where I can chop down the trees. 
Okay, so there's a flipping mound right here. Is there one any closer? It's so hard to see during night when you're in the forest. I don't see any. Let's get these. Let's, let's get these gems. Beautiful. Maybe. Oh, I think there's a dirt mound right here. And I think there might be one right here. Okay. Dang, that's so far, though. That's crazy, mate. So I'm gonna have to wait until the next day where I can go out like I did with the bat again. Like right after the, oh crap, right after the enemies pass by. And uh, try to build that mound as quickly as I can. All right, let's go back to the castle. See if I can recruit some diaper dudes. And don't worry, I'm going to build that portal eventually. Is this not upgraded? I thought I did that. Guess not. Alright, let's give some money to the banker. So he'll be a happy little fat camper. Wall's glitching out right there. Put some more gems in the box. Jeez, that's a lot of money. in there just to try to guard that even though chances are there's gonna be man look at that pikeman go he is a quick one even though there's gonna be some uh, archers going back and forth that'll pick up that coin probably all right i just want to be as quick as i can to that mound get that wall set up as fast as possible They gotta go so far. That that catapult is gonna take ages to push out here. Okay, there goes a, a double D. That's okay. Where's that mound at? I thought there was one right here. Was there not? Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go get that double D that was running. Was there one right there? There he is. He's going for my beer, baby. Going for the beer. Oh! There we go. <laughs> Alright, hopefully these guys get this bad boy built up pretty quickly. This should help me out a lot, expanding out here. Uh, unfortunately, man, I've been really... I've been getting such bad luck with the positions for archer towers. Like, the archer tower being this far away from my wall is just completely useless. And there isn't one anywhere near the front of it either, so... Yeah, just kind of one of those things where... It's, it's just an aspect of this game where some of it just requires pure luck. And there's no skill involved. Like, I could build an archer tower way out here. Which is, you know, better than nothing. I 
That was weird. Alright, anyway, those guys are gonna build that. So I might as well head back now. Uh oh, I think it's doing that weird glitch again where it automatically turns me back into a human after like one one or two seconds being the bat without me pressing anything. Darn it. The only way I was able to fix that before was by switching my mount and by exiting the game and then opening it back up. So I guess I could switch mounts. I don't really need this guy anymore. What's up, diaper dude? Oops, that was weird. Now oh, you can hold on to that, buddy. Oh, is this a blood moon? Sounds pretty spooky. Yeah, it's all glitched out again. Alright, so let's just switch to the horse. Hopefully that'll unglitch it. Oh, it's just a regular moon. Okay. We just got some nice music going on. Pal. Dude, it's so dark. I think that was a portal I just passed. Can't really see anything. <laughs> Alright, we got some dudes out here. Leave a couple coins. You know, let's go chop these trees down just for preparation of expansion over here. Give the banker some money. Hi, a double D. What's up, my dude? Yeah, and like I said, I'm not interested in getting that Night Hermit. He's kind of useless in my opinion. I mean, he's, he's not useless, but he's just not... He's not good. He's, uh, he's not worth the gems in my opinion, which you can spend on more valuable items. Yeah, I definitely want to upgrade this wall here pretty soon. Alright, I gotta start taking out more portals. Okay, we got a portal right there. <laughs> cool beans. I think I might build this archer tower because... Oh, dude, this is a perfect spot for a wall. So 
So there's a wall right here and there's an archer tower both in front and behind. That is like you couldn't ask for you couldn't ask for better than that. Now that is the bee's knees. So I'm going to wait for the enemies to pass. Actually, yeah, I'm going to wait for the enemies to pass and I'm going to build the fully upgraded wall and then I'll start building the archer tower. Day 21 on Island 4. Alright, I think I'm going to upgrade this one more time and then I'm going to head back to the bakery, or not the bakery, the whatever, the... The beer place, the beer shop or whatever. <laughs> and then I'll buy more of that and uh, hopefully I can hire more guys because I really need to get my army a lot bigger than this. It's pretty small, really. Don't have very many guys at all. And they should be done with that no problem by the end of the day. And I could connect that portal somewhere else as well. That would save me a bit of travel time. But where's a good spot? My right, son of a biscuit, you stole it. You flippin' dick! Oh, I guess I could set it up right here. That'd be a good spot for the portal. Oh, here we go. Finally, dude. It only took like flipping 30 minutes. So I can finally upgrade my squires to knights properly. Go get some more money, and then I think I need to buy, like, one more or two more. And then I can put money into all those guys to buff them up a little bit. Man, I was starting to think that there just wasn't a way to upgrade them in this game mode, but, uh... Should have known it was just being glitchy and taking a long time. Buy one more, I think. Because I think there'll be one more available because I haven't recruited as many knights as I can yet. I think there's still one banner available on the wall, maybe two. Holy 
Luigi's. I'm just gonna assume that was a lot. Yeah, that's why I'm dropping it. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> Overload! So yeah, let's go ahead and buy the final the final night. Up a lot of cash for these guys. Hire the diaper dudes, buy some more beer, because they drank some. And let's get uh, let's go get some more money back. And then we will put some money into all these knights. Because I think they can accept like five more coins after they get upgraded. Some, something crazy like that. Yeah, we got a pretty pretty badass fighting force now, baby. Feeling it. Yeah, see, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, thanks, buddy. Oh, I guess he's already upgraded. Or, I mean, buffed. He's already buffed up. He's a beefcake. These guys aren't. Alright, cool. I gotta start using my bat more often. I keep forgetting about it still, you know? Don't you pick those up. Those are for that guy. Right, I guess he's already full. Oh, I guess I need to buy one more. Because that guy's walking away and he's just a regular dude. <laughs> it's like right here. Oh, it looks like I need two more, actually. Dang. Six, dang. Seven. He's hungry. Alright, it's probably full because I think that was 10, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. This guy's coming to get his. Alright, I think I'm going to go over here, I'm going to upgrade that archer tower again, and then I'm going to attack a portal. Interception. Oh, th there's a guy. Interception. Jeez, this is so far away. I, I really got to build that portal. Anyway, guys, looks like we are at... 30 minutes about, so you know what, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave the episode off there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, if you did, a thumbs up and subscription would be mucho excelente. And I will see you fine folks in the next episode.